Autoradiography is a scientific method used to detect and visualize the distribution of radioactive substances inside a biological sample like tissues, cells or even entire organisms. It works by exposing a sample containing a radioactive compound to a photographic film or detector. Wherever the radioactive molecules go, they leave a trace. So how does it work? The radioactive molecules often labeled with isotopes like tritium, carbon-14 or phosphorus-32 emit energy. This energy, usually in the form of beta particles, strikes a photographic film placed close to the sample. After developing the film, you'll see dark spots wherever the radiation was concentrated, revealing the exact location of the molecules inside the sample. There are a few types of autoradiography you should know. First, direct autoradiography, where the radioactive compound is applied directly to the tissue. Second, indirect autoradiography, where a radioactive antibody or probe binds to a target. And third, in situ hybridization autoradiography, used to detect specific DNA or RNA sequences using radioactive probes. Each method is chosen depending on what we want to see and how deep we want to look. Where is autoradiography used? In pharmacology, it helps visualize how a drug spreads through organs. In molecular biology, it detects gene activity. In neuroscience, it reveals receptor locations in the brain. And even in plants, it shows how nutrients travel from root to leaf, from tiny cells to entire systems. Autoradiography is like a flashlight in the dark. Let's look at the pros and cons. Advantages, it's incredibly sensitive, allows precise localization of molecules, and it can even be quantitative. But, limitations. It involves radioactive materials, so safety is critical. Exposure times can be long, and the equipment needs careful handling. In the microscopic world of science, autoradiography gives us the power to see the unseen, to track, to measure, and to understand, from genes to drugs, from neurons to leaves. Thanks for joining us on this journey through autoradiography. If you learned something new, hit that like button, share the video, and subscribe for more Science Simplified.